Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are gonna be doing another tier ranking video. This is one of the three that were like highest, that was the highest requested. That was requested the most from you guys. The first one was ranking, what did I do? Oh, book talk books. That one was really fun. This one is different. We're not ranking any books. We are ranking, as you can see, romance, book tropes. I'm picky with my tropes. There's some that I like really don't like and there's some that I'm like obsessed with and there's some I actually haven't even read yet. So this should be fun. We're gonna get right into it. Tier ranking is literally so fun. I'm gonna try to get this link to the tier ranking thing and put it in the description so you guys can do it too because just doing tier rankings, like it's fun and you could see like when you're done, like the order of how you, how you feel about the tropes because you don't really realize like with the book talk one like I didn't realize one how many I didn't read and what my favorites were some that I didn't like like you can see it visualized or you can visualize it obviously so we're gonna do that together they kind of look a little weird on here but I went on tier maker that's the website it's called tiermaker.com you can make your own you could use other templates like a lot of people make their own so you can use theirs and it's just, it's just fun but I made my own we're gonna get right into it okay a little nervous but okay let's screen record this is what it looks like right now I have all these tropes at the bottom I'm not gonna read them off we're just gonna read them as we go but these are the rankings we're gonna start from top to bottom so we have I will read any book with this trope self-explanatory that just means exactly what it says and any book that has that trope in it I will pick up I will read if you recommend it to me it's just my favorite underneath it is I usually enjoy it so it's not one that I would run to read but it is one that I enjoy reading not my fave but also not my least fave meaning it's it's mid that's it it's just average for me then it doesn't hit unless it's done right so like if it's done wrong it's cringy and it's just it doesn't doesn't hit you know but when it's done right it's done so well and it hits then we have not a vibe not a fan tropes that I just like aren't for me other people probably love them i personally do not get rid of it these are just tropes that i think that should just be ended that just like abolish this trope i don't like it i don't see why it's a thing i can't get with it and then the last one is i haven't read so there's some tropes honestly that i just haven't read yet which is interesting that we're gonna see because then i could reach out for those books you guys might be able to recommend me that i haven't read yet that you guys maybe like so that's fun but also disclaimer this is all my opinions obviously we all read with different opinions different likings so if you like the tropes that I don't like, it's fine. It's okay. It's a personal opinion. And if you don't like the tropes that I love, also okay. There's so many books out there that we all can read and enjoy on our own time and our own opinions. So be nice. Let's start. First one is teacher student. <laughs> this is one we're starting off kind of iffy. It's illegal. You're a teacher student. It's not, it's not right. So this one, I think I'm going to put in not a vibe or a fan. It's just, it always gives me like the ick. Every time this happens though, I think of Ezra and Arya from Pretty Little Liars and it's like I shipped them, but it was kind of annoying. There's so many wrongs within it, even though I could ship them and I could like them together and stuff. It's just like, there's so many barriers and challenges to go around and usually does not end well or it ends in a, like a lawsuit or something. So I don't know, not my favorite, fake dating. Mm, let me think about this one. It's, this is like hard because they're so like specific. I think I'm gonna do, I usually enjoy it or not my fave, but not my least fave. Usually enjoy it. I think I'm gonna stick it there. I would put it in, doesn't hit unless it's done right, because sometimes when like they're fake dating, it's like just kind of annoying. It's just like, I don't know. But every fake dating thing that I've read, I enjoy because when they're like fake dating, they're like, you know, <laughs> what's the, what are the words I'm trying to come up with? They're kind of have to put on a show in front of people. And it's like, sometimes it's like there's underlying likeness and like truth to what they're saying. So like, it's really cute. And usually I do enjoy it. So, okay. Sports romance. Honestly, I'm going to put it in not my fave, but also not my least fave. Not my fave because when you get too much into the sports, it's like, I'm bored now. Where's the romance? I just don't care about the sports, but it's also not a least fave because sometimes I like do enjoy it. I like the athletes. It's just when there's too much sports talk, I'm just like, okay. We get it, he plays hockey. We get it, he's in the NFL. But yeah, not my least fave, but also not my favorite. Force proximity. Okay, this one might come as a surprise maybe. I don't know. This one for me, um, should I put it there? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. It doesn't hit for me unless it's done right because I feel like, no, no. I'm gonna put that there. Not my favorite, but also not my least favorite. I feel like sometimes forced proximity could get kind of annoying because it's either you get forced proximity where they're obviously forced to be in the same room, be in the same house, be in the same place together. It either works or it doesn't. So maybe I should, doesn't hit. No, it's not my favorite. I don't, 
it's all circumstantial like it depends how they're being forced like are they being forced to stay in like the same house together are they forced to workplace forced proximity like i don't know where they have to see each other but like sometimes it's better because you get more scenes with them together because sometimes when it's like they're not in the same place like you get one point of view and it's like they're not together i don't know bad boy good girl i feel like this kind of goes with like a grumpy sunshine i know this is everyone's or majority of people's favorite trope i know that so do not come for me with this one but i'm putting this here it does not hit unless it's done right if that man is borderline psycho and not just like bad boy just like there's a line that they cross where their morals are kind of out of question and somehow romanticized that's when i draw the line so if it crosses that line i don't like it it doesn't hit it's cringy it's like why are we romanticizing this but if it's done right and he's just like grumpy like there's things that obviously the trauma that's happened and that's just the way he is then it's like okay i like it okay it's good but if it's not done right i just can't stand him and that's usually how it goes always when it's good girl though i typically enjoy them i feel like most of the girl main characters i've read are more good girl more sunshiny than not so this one for me it, it could get cringy it could get just not not for me mafia romance so i have not read a mafia romance yet i do know the sweetest oblivion i think it's like a trilogy or a series i've been told to read like so many times i just haven't done it yet but this one is iffy for me though because i feel like a mafia man is obviously Obviously very intense. I don't love book boyfriends like that or just book men like that So I don't know if I'd love it. I have to be in my grumpy sunshine era and I'm not right now So haven't read one yet. Okay, grumpy sunshine I don't know why I just feel like grumpy sunshine bad boy good girl is like kind of the same thing So we're gonna put that out there doesn't hit once it's done right kind of went over it already Also good girl bad boy could be like the guy is just like kind of like a punk and like grumpy is like is his personality more so I mean there is kind of a difference but to me they kind of mix together bodyguard romance i have not read yet i don't know because i feel like a bodyguard romance obviously he has to protect her and has to guard her life i feel like this could be done either really well or like cringy where he's like overprotective and i hate when they get like so overprotective where it's like i'm gonna get the ick so probably if that one's done right i would probably really enjoy it because when they're protective over them and they have to like watch over them but like they're not like kind of crazy about it I like it. Maybe I'll read one of those. Let me know if you have any recommendations. I don't know any bodyguard romances, so. Right person, wrong time. This one, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, not my favorite, but also left, not my least favorite. I think because right person, wrong time, again, could mean so many, like, is it a miscommunication thing where it's like wrong timing? Or is it like something major is happening and it's just like they can't be together right now? So I feel like there's different ways to go about right person, wrong time. But typically, I do like that trope. It's not one that I hate. So I feel like all of these, if they're done like the right way, like i could like any of them but you never know only one bed this one does not hit unless it's done right because you know it's coming you know when the man books them a hotel or they're going on a vacation they're staying somewhere you know it's coming so sometimes it's done right and sometimes it hits and it's like whoop they gotta share a bed i can't wait for this but also there's sometimes where it's one bed and you're like oh saw this one coming it's just like we know what's gonna happen now you know it's predictable sometimes it hits sometimes it doesn't for me just depends on how the book is going love at first sight this one for me not a vibe slash fan unless colleen hoover does it for some reason whenever colleen hoover does an insta love the way she writes it literally like it makes sense i feel it i like it i enjoy it but other than that i feel like when it's an insta love you get the love so quick in the beginning that's a little unrealistic but not even just unrealistic it's like now where do you go from there like they have this attraction they like each other and it's like now where we go now love triangle get rid of it get rid of it i hate love triangles i recently read a bunch of love triangles and i don't even like look for them just like somehow in the book a love triangle will pop up and two of my most recent ones were colleen reads and those were the two that i just didn't love because every time there's a love triangle in a book one of them has a significant other and it's like this borderline cheating it's either borderline cheating or cheating and then it's like oh no but my loyalties lie with my girlfriend or like my boyfriend but like why do i have this attraction to her or him and it's like break up with that if you have an attraction to someone else break up with them am i wrong a single parent not a vibe not a fan children in books aren't my cup of tea i don't hate them i'll read them i just don't like it i've read a few single parent tropes they're not bad just don't like it it's just like not a trope that i enjoy reading i don't really love reading about children kids friends to enemies to lovers this one i'm gonna put here i usually enjoy it but the only thing is the enemies has to be justifiable is that the word they have to justify why they're enemies like i don't want there to be like a miscommunication thing but like i like friends to enemies to lovers i think that's a good trope i don't have any examples to give right now but <laughs> i do like this trope okay <laughs> age gap this one is probably controversial i don't know if you know me you know where this is gonna go 
video doesn't hit unless done right for many reasons here if it's not done right it is creepy it is cringy it feels illegal if it's done right it's not creepy but i feel like with this trope you need two points of views because if you don't get the older man's point of view or the love interest when they're older it's like why are you attracted to her like we need the reasoning we need what's going on so i think you need that when you're doing a age gap a pretty big age gap but when it's done right i enjoy it i like it accidental pregnancy not a vibe not a fan these seem predictable when it does happen it's again like parent trope it could either be single parent trope now they have to figure out what to do anything like that i just i don't know not my favorite trope to read about bully romance get rid of it why are we bullying each other i don't know some people it's like they like being being bullied basically but i don't know it could get very mean abusive and it's why are we romanticizing abuse i don't know i don't think that this trope should be a thing i just take it down a few notches go to therapy brother's best friend i think okay this one i usually enjoy I do. There's always that predictable point in the book where it's brother's first friend where you're going to get the confrontation between obviously the sister and the best friend when the brother finds out. It's like, you know that's coming. And I think that's the part that gets kind of annoying. It's like, we know this fight's going to happen. We know the brother's going to be mad, but then he's going to forgive them. Like, we know it's predictable. But the brother's best friend, he's always liked her for so long, but it's like his best friend's sister. Like, you can't do that. But I like, I love it. Like, I, I think it's really good. I just, that one little part where like, you know it's coming, where he's going to, the brother's going to find out. It's like annoying. But other than that, I love this trope. Friends with benefits to lovers, I usually enjoy. This is like ugly love. I loved it, but only if they like make the pact like they did in ugly love for it to be just friends with benefits to nothing else. But then you see them connecting more and then they become lovers and it's just like, I like that. I like how it starts off like not so serious and not so like something happened. Like they're just like friends with benefits type of thing. So I've read a lot with this trope, but I did enjoy reading that. Workplace romance, not my fave. Also not my least fave. I feel like workplace romance can get boring, can get predictable, can get, I don't know. I don't like reading about the workplace. I just, it depends what kind of co-workers they are you know what i mean but it's not like my favorite like i don't really reach out for like a workplace romance but it's like not bad like i don't mind reading about it it's just like if the whole book is just like them and their work situation and setting it's like i don't really care anymore about the work but it's not bad it just like i guess depends enemies still love birds i'm gonna put this here no I usually do enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie to myself here. The thing with this one though is that I have to be in the mood for an enemy to lovers because every single one I read or like a majority of the ones I read are very like predictable. It's like they argue and they're enemies for like no reason. Like I feel like they have to be like for real enemies for me to really like it or I have to be in the mood for it because if I know that they're just like don't like each other for like a s it's usually like a dumb reason or like the guy like secretly doesn't hate her but she hates him i don't know i don't want to put it doesn't hit unless it's done right because it usually does hit like i do love like when they're like fighting and stuff but, like you know they secretly like each other like i do enjoy it it's just like i feel like they're very similar a lot of them like the main guy character the enemies to lovers in it is usually very repetitive but i can't lie like i do enjoy it and i do like when they end up connecting and end up getting over their little enemies thing and like loving each other so yeah i usually do enjoy it as much as i say that i don't like enemies to lovers i just have to be in a mood for it otherwise i'll get kind of like bored because i feel like they're all in somewhat the same childhood friends to lovers you guys know where this is going literally any book you recommend the childhood friends to lovers i will read i don't know what it is that's so like innocent and just like overwhelmingly cute and just wholesome about childhood friends connecting and like leaning on each other and like hanging out all the time where it's like they don't even realize that they like have a thing and like a connection with each other i love it i will read any single book that has this trope if you recommend me any i will probably we read it slow burn uh-uh not a vibe or a fan i get bored i mean like it's fine if it's like not that slow but when you get a real slow burn i can't do it because i just get like okay just like speak speak to each other user communication why are we dragging this out i hate it not a fan of it i just feel like it's so underwhelming and so dragged out that like when the romance comes at the end or like usually it's closer to the end when they finally like do something say something speak about it i'm bored and i'm just like okay like finally you know it's just like my attention span for that i don't like it one of us is famous i don't think i've read a famous character trope i don't think so i can't remember i don't think i have i wouldn't be opposed to it it reminds me of starstruck the movie like i feel like if i read a book a romance book of one of his famous it's probably gonna be like that where like it's like a girl who like doesn't really care or really know who he is he's famous you ever see that movie love that movie i hate everyone in the world but you i think this doesn't hit unless it's done right because they're either mean to everyone else but her and it's like maybe just loosen up a little bit or it's like he's not like really mean to everyone else he just like doesn't really care about anyone else but her 
I feel like this goes under like a grumpy type of man So it's like iffy for me. It has to be done right for me to enjoy it. right person not enough time this one I'm gonna say I usually enjoy it but this one kind of when I read like what this trope is I think of like someone dying you know like that's just what I think of like it's the right person but like one of them gets sick or like one of them you know it doesn't happen so I'm gonna say I usually enjoy it but not all the time because sometimes like when I know there's like a death or like something like that in a trope or a book I I can't handle it you know I just I just get so emotional so I usually enjoy it I do I usually it tears up my heartstrings but I don't really look for those because I just can't handle sad books but I do enjoy it when I do read it friends to lovers this is I will probably read any book with this trope I think this is one of the best tropes because enemies to lovers again repetitive sometimes the grumpy man is just too grumpy but when you get friends to lovers it's like okay there's a base you know somehow they were friends already and it's like you get that relationship and then they grow to lovers I just think it's such a good trope I think there's no really fault in it and I love it this is one of my favorite tropes I'll probably read any book that's friends to lovers good boy okay I think this one has to be done right as well why is my mouse not moving hello I've only read a few where the girl's like bad or the girl is the grumpy one and usually when the girl is grumpy it's not that she's like has an issue like a trauma that made her grumpy it's like she just complains a lot and I feel like when the girl is bad or grumpy I just like I can't I can't handle it and I feel like she's just complaining the whole time about everything like there's no like real reason she's grumpy that's just her personality and I don't know I don't love it so I don't think it really hits unless the girl has like a true reason of why she's like that insta love not a vibe or a fan this is just like love at first sight again Colleen's insta love really gets me but just like I said with love at first sight it's like where do we go from here why is there an initial attraction from both sides I feel like it's sometimes unrealistic but if it's done right I don't know not a fan of it but like it could hit you know billionaire I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I would say it doesn't hit unless it's done right. I feel like the billionaire is usually the guy. I feel like it's usually that kind of romance. But if the guy is flaunting his money, if the guy is throwing money in her face or just like, like they'll buy them like crazy things. And it's like, it's either you're on the verge of flaunting it or it's like, you just like, you just have this money. Like, it's just what you do. It's what you have. It's like all you know. So like, if it's at the point where they're flaunting it and it's like throwing in the face, it's just, it gets cringy. It gets annoying and it's like, calm down, be normal. If it's done right, I enjoy it. I think it's really nice that he buys her all these things and has the money to do it. Like in A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. Loved it. He was just, came from a rich family. He had the money to buy her things and do things for her in that sense. But in like the Terms and Conditions Billionaire Dreamland series, it was like, okay, we get it. You know, you have money. Royalty, I haven't read a romance. I don't think I read a royalty book. I don't know, royalty doesn't really entice me. I don't know if I'm gonna. Okay, my camera stopped recording, but what I was saying is I don't know if I would like, like to read a royalty trope book. I'm probably not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. Not probably, I am not opposed to it. Secret relationship, I usually do enjoy this. I like when they're like kind of hiding their relationship from other people, but not when it's like for a bad reason, but like when they're just like kind of like shy to show their friends or they're like, we can't really show this yet. We can't like, I don't know. I think it's fun when they're like sneaking around. Which off campus book do they do that? I think it's Dean. I'm pretty sure it's Dean. It's like, he can't really tell his friends that he's with one of his teammates, girlfriend's best friend. That's kind of confusing, but like they can't really like show it yet, but like it's cute when they're like secretly kissing behind the, their backs. I don't know. I enjoy it. Okay, so we have forced proximity again. So I'm gonna put that at the end. I'm not sure why there's two. Second chance romance. I'll read any book. I will read any book that's second chance. I love second chance romance. I think just seeing some two people that know what they're meant to be together and just like have a second chance to rekindle it and just like love each other. I love it so much. I don't know what it is about these books. Second chance is like one of my favorites. It's like, yes, finally, they're gonna be together. And it's like, they finally realize, I don't know. I love this trope so much. Single parent, not a vibe, not a fan. Oh my god, wait, we already did single parent. Why is there two of these? Okay, that's the end again. Workplace romance we already have. Fake dating we already have. Okay, right, best friend's brother. We did brother's best friend, but best friend's brother. I'm gonna say I usually enjoy it. I like brother's best friend more than best friend's brother because I'd rather the whole fight issue go on with the brother because like that's your brother who can't really like, I don't know. You still get the fight. You still get like, you know, there's gonna be confrontation because that's her brother, but I don't hate it. I do usually enjoy it again i feel like this can also fall into like the secret relationship where they can't really show it yet and i do enjoy that so marriage of convenience not a vibe not a fan that's funny because i'm about to read a book or i downloaded a book on my kindle marriage for it's called marriage for one but it's marriage of convenience and i, I want to read it so like I'm, I'm gonna read those tropes it's just not my favorite i feel like it has to be done right as well but i don't know why why are you i don't know i feel like it's unrealistic like are you really in real life gonna go marry someone out of convenience that's like a whole process 
I don't like it. It's just like weird. It's like so weird to me. And then you end up falling in love and it's like maybe we really should get married for like the real thing. I don't know. I do not like it. Stepbrother, get rid of it. That's weird. That is real weird to me. Isn't that what Credence is about by Penelope Douglas? I haven't read that, but I'm pretty sure it's Stepbrother. I don't know. It's weird. You're, you're fam at this point, you're family members. You're you're part of the same family. I know you're not blood related, but it's, your parents are together. I don't know. Uh-oh. -uh. Mm -mm. Bully romance. Okay, all the ones at the bottom we've done. I feel like we've got a good amount. We've done the main ones. I feel like the main tropes that we see in these books. And I feel like this is exactly how I would have pictured myself putting them all. My favorite tropes, as we know, are second chance, romance, childhood friends, lovers. Those are my favorite ever. But I think it also falls into friends, lovers, so it all makes sense why those three are the books that I would always read. Like, there's nothing really bad about those tropes. You know, they're like wholesome. Like, I know if I pick up a second chance, childhood friends, lovers, friends, lovers, like there's really nothing that I wouldn't really like. All right, so this is this is where, where I've ended. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys do this as well. You can tell me what your book tropes that you will read any book with it in it. Let me know yours or let me know any that you think we should get rid of. For me, it's love triangle, bully romances, and stepbrother romances. And I think majority of you will agree with me. Or hopefully majority of you will agree with me. But you don't have to because you know what? All opinions, so it's fine. But yeah, this was fun. I have another tier ranking that I'm going to do in a few weeks, which should be really fun. These are fun. I enjoy doing these. Let me know if there's any other tier ranking like topics you guys want me to do because I only have a couple that I don't know. But let me know if there's any other ones that you guys are interested in seeing me do. Yeah, I'm going to try to link this down in the description. So if you want a tier rank, hopefully it's there. Hopefully I figure out how to get the link. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. And I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Bye!